Hey, dreamer. Sit back and relax. I'll take you to your next dream. Did you sleep well? some time to get used to all this, but I assure you, you're completely safe right here. There's nothing to worry about. After all, As long as I'm here, you have nothing to worry about. It's kind of like smelling myself, but with apricots. <laughs> it's a weird, weird sensation for me too. <sighs> it's been a while since someone carried my scent. I'm glad it's you. God. 
I could look at you all day. You know that. <laughs> You're gorgeous. gets flustered. <laughs> Do I make you excited too? <laughs> hmm. I'm glad it's not just a one side thing. We shouldn't get so excited in the morning. It's close to hunting time for me. Hmm. I had wanted you to join me this morning, but it seems you need the rest. So... Take this time to go back to sleep. Yeah. You know what? I'll help you go to sleep. How about that? Good. I believe it's human customs to read a story before they go to sleep. I have one book, and it's actually a book that once belonged to your family. Yes, the Boreas family. A sign of peace between our two families. The werewolf kind was never accepted by humanity. That is why we retreat to the Forbidden Forest. That is why we're here. The Boris family, however, they treated us kindly. They treated us as if we were their own. And for that, I am forever grateful. The head of the Boris family during the time was very fond of fairy tales. He loved them because it depicted the world in a magical way. It made people saw the world as what it could be instead of what it was. <laughs> 
thinking back, he was quite the idiotic optimist. Although, I suppose, there is a charm in that. <laughs> in him and his stories. Would you like me to read one? Try to get yourself comfortable. I will only be reading one. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, here's one. The painting and the cat. Once upon a time, an artist painted a small and very beautiful picture. He hung it on the wall across from a mirror so that he could see its reflection in the mirror. Said the artist, this doubles the distance and softens it, and it's twice as lovely as it was before. The animals out in the woods heard of this through the artist's house cat, who was greatly admired by them, because he was so learned and so refined and civilized and so polite and high-bred, and could tell them so much which they didn't know before, and were not certain about afterward. They were much excited about this new piece of gossip, and they asked questions, so as to get a full understanding of it. Their first question was what a picture is, and the cat explained, it is a flat thing, he said, wonderfully flat, marvelously flat, enchantingly flat, and elegant, and oh so beautiful. That excited them almost to a frenzy, and they said they would give the world to see it. Then the bear asked, what is it that makes it so beautiful? It is the looks of it, said the cat. This filled them with admiration and uncertainty, and they were more excited than ever. Then the cow asked, What is a mirror? It is a hole in the wall, said the cat. You look in it, and there you see the picture. And it is so dainty and charming and ethereal and inspiring in its unimaginable beauty that your head turns round and round and you almost swoon with ecstasy. The donkey had not said anything as yet. He now began to throw dobs. He said... There had never been anything as beautiful as this before, and probably wasn't now. He said that when it took a whole basketful of adjectives to whop up a thing of beauty, it was time for suspicion. It was easy to see that these dobs were having an effect upon the animals, so the cat went off offended. The subject was dropped for a couple of days. But in the meantime, curiosity was taking a fresh start, and there was a revival of interest. Then, the animals assailed the donkey for spoiling what could possibly have been a pleasure to them, on a mere suspicion that the picture was not beautiful, 
without any evidence that such was the case. The donkey was not troubled. He was calm and said there was one way to find out who was in the right, himself or the cat. He would go and look in that hole and come back and tell what he had found there. The animals felt relieved and grateful and asked him to go at once, which he did. But he did not know where he ought to stand, and so, through error, he stood between the picture and the mirror. The result was that the picture had no chance, and didn't show up. He returned home and said, The cat lied. There was nothing in that hole but a donkey. There wasn't a sign of a flat, beautiful thing visible. It was a handsome donkey, and friendly, but just a donkey, and nothing more. The elephant asked, Did you see it good and clear? Were you close to it? I saw it good and clear, O Hathi, king of beasts. I was so close that I touched noses with it. This is very strange, said the elephant. The cat was always truthful before, as far as we could make out. Let another witness try. Go, Baloo, look in the hole and come and report. So the bear went. When he came back, he said, Both the cat and the donkey have lied. There was nothing in the hole but a bear. Great was the surprise and puzzlement of the animals. Each was now anxious to make the test himself and get at the straight truth. The elephant sent them one at a time. First, the cow. She found nothing in the hole but a cow. The tiger found nothing in it but a tiger. The lion found nothing in it but a lion. The leopard found nothing in it but a leopard. The camel found a camel, and nothing more. Then, Hathi, the elephant, declared he would have the truth if he had to go and fetch it himself. When he returned, he abused his whole subjectry for liars and was in an unappeasable fury with the mental blindness of the cat. He said that anybody but a nearsighted fool could see that there was nothing in the hole but an elephant. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those stories with a bit of wisdom inside it. You see, the mirror is simply a perspective. If you don't see things with the proper perspective, then you will fail to see the truth. We would only be able to see what we want to see. In this case, they were only able to see themselves and not the painting. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good story. Do you like it? <laughs> good. And here, you can have the whole book. I mean, it's yours to begin with anyway. I'll have to go start the morning hunt soon. In the meantime, I hope you rest well 
my queen. Sweet dream.